Today I want to show you the body composition analysis on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. This is amazing. And also, I want to show you why this watch is superior to all other watches right now. Why it is truly the best fitness tracker in the market. Let's go. On the Galaxy Watch 4, go to body composition analysis, which is right here, and then tap measure. Now it's going to ask you to enter your current weight. So let's go ahead and measure my weight. Now I'm going to go measure my weight. So let's see how much I weigh. And I weigh 74.15. So now you can enter 74.15. Let's go ahead and enter that. Let's just say 74.2 because 15 translates to 2. Confirm. In order to measure body composition correctly, you place your middle finger and your ring finger on the keys like this and you lift your arms. So you place it like this, and now it's gonna measure your body composition. Stay still and raise your arms. This is where the magic starts. Of course, your weight you've already entered. My skeletal muscle is 32.9 kilograms, okay? And my fat is 13.6 kilograms. It already went down from before. My body fat is 18.3%, not bad. My BMI is 22.9, which is also not bad. You see, this is the healthy range. This is low. This is like, you, you might say that this is too much. My body water is 44.4 kg, and my metabolic rate is 1,679 calories. So these are the changes from June, and you can also see them on the phone. You can also check the measurements on the phone. So this is my current measurement right now. It says that, by the way, this was not me. This was my brother checking out the watch. He tried it. He's 85 kg. That's not me. And this is me. This is me. These are me, 75, 74. This was my brother. That was not me. This is me, 72.9. And today, that's me, 74.2 kg. Now you can see that the skeletal muscles here, the fat mass, the body, BMI, body water. This is amazingly useful if you want to keep track of your body composition stats, athletes or people who are into fitness or even just the, the average Joe who wants to find out more about their body. You can also set targets if you want. So this is the weight target. You can set a weight target if you want. You can set a body fat target. It's 16. I set that as my body fat target. My latest is 18.3. My skeletal muscle target, that's 34.7. And it allows you to give you helpful information about reading your goals. And you can also set reminders. So these are the reminders. It's well thought of. I like the implementation of this. And it also tells you the time to reach your goal. So this is four weeks. You can choose the time if you want. So once you set your goal, you get tips for reaching your targets. So these are some of the tips. If you want to lose weight and fat while gaining muscle, for example, a mix of aerobic exercise and strength training is recommended as well as careful nutrition management. So it tells you exactly what to do. This is all the information that you need. This is aerobic training. So to meet your goals, a typical person of your weight would need to burn 1,150 calories through aerobic exercises each day. So it even tells you exactly what to do. Strength training. You'll also need strength training to build muscle. Two or three workouts a week is recommended. To meet your goals, you'll likely need moderate strength training, which means setting the weight so you can do a maximum of 8 to 12 reps. And at these weights, a typical workout is two to four sets of each exercise. It even tells you more about nutrition. So to lose weight and body fat, you need to reduce your calorie intake, but make sure you get enough protein. It tells you, for example, to stay away from high fat, high carb meals. It tells you that a good way to improve your diet might be to reduce grain-based foods like bread, rice, or pasta. Your diet should also be high in protein to add muscle. Good sources include eggs and chicken breast, as well as plant proteins such as tofu beans or soy milk. So it gives you a complete nutrition plan as well as an exercise plan. These are the tips for reaching your target. So remember, you can set targets with the Galaxy Watch 4 body composition analysis. And that's why I honestly think that the Galaxy Watch 4 is the best fitness tracking device on the market right now. It's, it's just incredible. Apple, if you're watching this, you got to play catch up. The Galaxy Watch 4 is way more advanced than the Apple Watch as of this moment. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you really like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon. And go get yourself checked out for blood pressure, ECG, and the rest of the health metrics. Get yourself a Galaxy Watch. Thank you.